Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 1010 in Honolulu, 410 in New York. It is Tuesday, August 16th. 2016 equities markets have just closed and after really a tremendous upside surge and rally we do have a day of consolidation and lower pricing dow jones industrial average closing off about 84 points on the day about a half a percent in terms of the drawdown at 18,000. 552. Standard and Poor's off about four tenths at 2177, the low 75 and the high 86. Finally, NASDAQ also trading lower, off about a half a percent. This, of course, is the NASDAQ 100 E mini at 4800. And lastly, the dollar under tremendous pressure, almost down a full percentage point at 90. 476 on the day. So traders, as I said, we absolutely have some softening in U.S. equities markets today. Of course, a Fed meeting got underway today. We'll see what conclusions are reached tomorrow and whether or not interest rates will remain steady or if there's any kind of planned rate increase. A rate increase, in my opinion, is highly unlikely, at least this month, September, maybe December, not out of the question, but right now, I don't think the Fed is going to move. Now, we did get some dovish statements that came out with uh, San Francisco Fed President uh, John Williams. That sent the U.S. dollar tumbling. But more so, I think it's simply the uncertainty as to what will unfold tomorrow that has U.S. equities a little bit on edge. As you can see, 84 points lower on the day, 18,552. When we look at this chart, it's a simple candlestick weekly chart. We absolutely see a definite level of resistance at this point. That resistance comes in on these weekly highs that we have achieved three out of the last five weeks where we've tested these highs here, here, and here over the last three weeks, but not really been able to uh, take those numbers out and move to new record highs. Although when we look at it on a daily basis, you can see that over the last couple of days, we did hit new all-time highs, especially yesterday. So the fact that we're backing off a little bit doesn't surprise me all that much. Now, of extreme interest at this point is the U.S. dollar. Dollar under pretty significant pressure off almost a full percentage point below 95 at 94.78, looking at a weekly candlestick chart. And the one thing that you can see is after this dramatic climb, and this of course is back in 2015, roughly a year ago in July, in which we saw the market run from about 80 up to 100 on the dollar index. You can see that tremendous rise right in here. Now, following that, we really went into a market that was most characterized by the fact that it had a fairly wide but defined trading range. On the lows, 93, we saw absolute support right in this area, these lows here. Of course, you have a series of lows here as well as here. So historically speaking, each time the market did get bid down to 93, support came into the market. On the same hand, we've had series of highs that have been really a area of resistance. 98 right here, right around 100, just below 100, and then again at 98. So 98 and 100 have been these key resistance points. And I do believe as we are heading back lower, excuse me, wrong pointer, but as we are heading back lower, we could see this market come down and test this 93 area right in here. That wouldn't really surprise me. We're at 94.78. But the one thing that we have not seen the dollar do is it has, after making this dramatic climb, it has remained strong, although trading within a range, that range fairly wide, about a seven point range, but nonetheless, we have really strong support at 93. And I believe we could see this market continue under pressure. 
Lastly, do want to take a look at crude oil. Crude oil is actually surprising me. It has been more than resilient. Of course, the key question is whether or not the real fundamentals have changed. A, will OPEC be able to come to some consensus and will that consensus really decrease the output? And what about our basic consumption as well as what we have on hand? Simple supply and demand economics. When we look at this market on a technical basis, the one thing I can tell you is that the fact that this is the second day in a row that we have break, broken above this cascading bearish channel line to me is fairly significant, one. Secondly, we talked about the fact yesterday that at right around 46 on a technical basis, we have some good data suggesting that this would be an area that could certainly uh, provide some sort of resistance. Market plowed right through that. We've now seen four days of very, very strong rising oil prices. And the key right now, as far as I'm concerned, is we don't really have anything on a technical basis till about $48 per barrel. We'll have to keep our eyes and ears peeled to what news develops in the crude oil market. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another Trending Markets. Bye-bye. Thank you.